Hello everybody and welcome back to Behind the Blocks with Big Al. I hope you all had a great holiday break and back today with sophomores and good friends EJ and Jackie. <laughs> These two just got done with some pretty brutal couple weeks of winter training. Before we dive into things, do you think that you could describe to us kind of how and why winter training is different from that during the school year? Uh, well for me, I mean for winter break we have uh, two two hour practices every single day, so that's a little bit different from the morning, which is like an hour and a half, and it's just kind of you come in and you do your work and you get out, and obviously you do that throughout the season, but it's a little bit more hefty. Yeah, it's definitely like kind of like just the last point. They really hit hard until we get into like training into big tents, so they really really work us at the half time. And I know that you guys went to Florida last and this year you stayed on campus. Obviously traveling is a lot of fun, but what would you say some advantages are of staying at Purdue to train? For me personally, since Big Ten is going to be here this year, it's a lot better to actually train and have the opportunity to, you know, like see the lighting while you're swimming and just to have every single aspect. And it's a lot more exciting seeing all the banners and everything go up, so I get a little bit more pumped up. I mean, when you go to like different places like Florida or Hawaii, you kind of feel like obligated to go out during the day and do stuff. So it's like when you're here in like the winter of Indiana, is, you don't really do much. You kind of just like go to practice, then you, you go and sleep. And you're in your own bed and stuff, in your own house, so that's pretty nice too. And we do have big tents coming up pretty soon here. What would you guys say you're starting to do now in terms of preparation? Well, for me, I mean, right now it's just kind of every single detail is very important. Every wall, I mean, you want to get used to everything, the lighting, that's really important. Just everything that the coaches say, I would say, I take into account. Yeah, it's a lot of like stroke specific stuff, like really training for your actual events and stuff. Um, a lot less volume towards the end, but definitely a lot of more technique and quality. And of course, now you guys are sophomores, so you do have a year of experience under your belt. EJ, you are a specifically unique case. You came from Southern California here last year. What would you say the biggest adjustment has been for you in terms of living in the Midwest the last year? Um, I mean, there's a lot of differences coming from all the way from the West Coast, but I think probably the biggest would be like kind of like the weather, but it's like you just got to really layer. <laughs> there's no really like getting around that. It's got to wear a lot of layers, and we got big winter coats this year, so I was kind of stoked for that one. And then Jackie, you kind of had the opposite experience. So you're from Indiana and then you came to Purdue. What would you say were some of the reasons why you decided to stay in your home state for college? Um, I would say that when I came here in comparison to the other schools, I mean the school is very family oriented and you know going coming from a bigger family I have four siblings so I really liked having the team as a big family and I met EJ so we're very close friends. Yeah and I was going to say it's pretty ironic you guys are from the opposite side of the country. You did meet here, but what really led you guys to being such close friends? I, I'd say probably just our, just our like personalities really click. Like we're both like kind of goofy. We like to have a lot of fun, so I think we really struck a chord with that kind of personality. Mindset. Yes, and it was just really easy for me to become friends with him. He's very outgoing and just happy about everything. So. And I do have to ask because I feel like I'm often told that you guys are the dance crew of the swim team. What does that mean? Can you expand on that a little bit? I um, mean, <laughs> I guess like we're kind of like not afraid to just like do whatever. So like you might see us like busting a move on deck or something during a meet or just whatever. It's honestly just like trying to have fun, trying to stay relaxed. So that's yeah. really just the main mentality for that. It takes the pressure off definitely, just having fun. And being able to dance whenever music comes on and somebody looks at us weird, it's fine, we have each other and everybody else on the team. We don't care. They have each other. Anyway, of course, also, we're about halfway, a little over halfway now through the swim season and we do have a few very important meets coming up. What would you guys say that you're the most excited about leading up to Big Tens? I would say IU. Um, that one, a lot of people come. Um, when I was coming into my freshman year, I had a chance to come to the actual home meet, so I got to see everybody swim, and a lot of people come out, so I'm really excited for that one. Yeah. I'm stoked for this Friday with Michigan State, just because they have the 100 IM. And that's that's my favorite event, <laughs> by far. So that's, that's it for me. The 100 IM usually isn't a meet that we have in dual meet, so it definitely is a fun surprise for the swimmers when they get to do that. 
Anyway, I think we're going to wrap it up here. So good luck this season. We'll stay in tune on the friendship going on here. And good luck this season. Thank you.